Hello, this is Mr. Doty, and this is going to be a short video, a really short video, on how to use the Design Center in AutoCAD. Um, I've got AutoCAD 22 up. Um, it doesn't really matter. It's all pretty much the same. Uh, the main thing is uh, you need to have, make sure that up here in your um, quick access toolbar up here, you need to make sure that yours Yours probably didn't say hide it. It probably says show menu bar. And when you click on show menu bar, this nice little pull down menu pops up. And under tools, if you, uh, if you ever lose the uh, command line, you've got it right here where you can pull it on. There's toolbars you can add. And under palettes, there's one called design center. And it's on the other screen. So we'll bring it over here. So you can also access this if I were to get rid of it. You could also access this by typing in design center and that'll pop up the same thing. Now what you may need to do is right here in the middle you may need to grab this and make it a little bit wider Hopefully yours pops up as large as mine did. So um, basically, uh, this is something that can hang out on your screen. You don't have to dock it. You can just, you know, minimize it if you want to. And then when you need it, hover over it. And if you look, and you got the little sliders here, you have a slider on the bottom, slider on the side here. But um, I don't know where yours is going to start, but it'll be all the way up here you've got this PC then Windows comes down through program files and AutoCAD and yours will probably see AutoCAD 23 or whatever year it is um, then if you pull it all the way down it has sample right here and then under sample there's one called Design Center now yours may be like this oops <laughs> and um, you know, it may just be this guy right here. And notice that when I just click on Design Center, it shows all, these are all examples of the different kinds of, these are all the drawings. And these are all the blocks that are in the drawings. So if I click on the little plus, then what I can do is um, I can look at some of these different drawings. So let's just look at, there's an analog integrated circuit. Well, if I click on blocks, it shows me what they're, what they have. And uh, these are all different kinds of electrical parts that you might see on the schematic. I don't believe we're using any of those, but you can look through it. If it's something that was called for, then there it is. Uh, so I'm going to minimize that. Textiles, line types, don't really need that. Basic electronics might be helpful. So let's click on it. Okay, so we've got battery, capacitor, circuit breaker, diode, fuse, ground. So we've got all these nice things that you could use to uh, work on your drawing. Now, the easiest thing to do is to grab the battery or whatever block it is that you want to use. You just grab it with your mouse and drop it. Boom. Now, I can move it because it's a block. It's just a bunch of geometry that's been hooked together or grouped together uh, and using the block command. And now it's inside of this drawing. I want to escape to get out of it. So what you want to do is if you use any of these um, any of these blocks, okay, what you want to do is let that determine your scale or size of everything else okay so use one of those as a, it, it's going to help gauge the size of your drawing that you're getting up with because basically these they won't be to scale but they will because if you use text you kind of need to set an annotation scale so you'll have to kind of figure out some kind of a scale to make it work the best way it can okay and that's basically how you use the Design Center. 
and um, basically you've got the blocks there uh, you've got all these different drawings that you can use and then um, you know you can look through these and they may be helpful for something else that we do uh, the HVAC I don't think it was very helpful but the uh, pipe fittings the pipe fittings one that one might actually come in handy because you're probably going to have to do a drawing a single line drawing and you're probably going to have to use something like this so here's an example of where we can find that so that's kind of helpful uh, plant processes that might have something that you need to so this is basically a short video showing you how to use the design center remember that you can type it in down here at the command line or you can find it up here at tools palettes and then design center and that's pretty much it so hope you enjoy the video